What's up guys? This is Bizzo and I'm just I'm I'm full of excitement today. It doesn't look like it because I'm like kind of emotional right now. Uh and the reason why I'm emotional is I started this business, so I do um lawn mowing and snow blowing. I first started it just lawn mowing and snow blowing. And I did really good. Like I'm you know, I was working another job and I was doing this and I was making good money. Well then, I thought to myself, I was like, one day I would like to be just my boss. I would like to only work for myself and no one else. And the benefits to that is you get to have days off whenever you want to. If you don't feel like mowing one day, you if you're sick, you, you don't have to find somebody to cover you. You just let your properties know, hey, I'm sick or something happened or I just need a day off. And that's that. Like, there's no trying to find some way to cover your shift for you. And uh, so I was doing really good where I, before we moved, like I, we, I just, I, I was making lots of money in the winter. And then we moved um, into my hometown. And of course I had to start all over. So I had to rebuild my customers and rebuild my reputation and it took probably a year year and a half to rebuild it um and now I'm very known in the area and uh sorry I'm also driving so I'm also paying attention to the road um but recently well not recently like uh, like a week ago, I was talking to my wife and I told her that in two years, I would like to be working for myself. I would like to be, I'd like to quit my other full-time job and concentrate on my business. And she is 110% supportive on that. And, Cause she knows I love to do this. Like back in high school, I hated mowing grass. I didn't want to do anything with mowing grass when I was going to school. But now, like, you look back, and there's a reason why not a lot of people like to do it. They like their summer vacation, which I totally understand. And they like to just have fun in the summer, I guess you could say. But now, I can see that not a whole lot of people do this. And that's the reason. It's not because somebody's lazy. It's just, they won't, you know, you're in school for, like, the whole eight, six, I don't know how long you're in school for. I graduated a long time ago. But I know when summer vacation came up for me, all I wanted to do was ride my four-wheeler and hang out with my friends. I didn't want to mow grass or go to work or anything. So I understand. But I started getting calls from a town that's an hour away from me. And I, I've been turning them down because one person didn't like my quote. And I have it's an hour drive there and an hour drive back not to mention to mow for them. So, of course, my price is gonna, or my quote's gonna be a little bit more expensive than if you were locally. Um, so I started turning people down. And I just got another call for a Lake Vermilion property. Well, not now you know where it is, but... Anyways, I got another call for there. And uh, he's like, so where are you looking? And I told him, and he's like, oh, that's a drive. I was like, yeah, I've been getting a lot of calls from this area. I was like, can I ask why? <clears throat> and he said, well, <clears throat> two of the mowing companies out in that area called it quits this year. So with that being said, that also means I am going to get a crap ton of business. I'm going to get more business than I would know what to do with myself. So now, instead of a two-year plan of possibly working for myself, it could possibly happen this summer. And I am not prepared for it. I don't have the equipment to go full-time yet. Like, I have it, but I don't. And uh, I'm getting a new trailer uh, next uh, not this Friday, but next Friday. So that's happening, and that's like $5,000 that I'm in the hole with. 
but I need I need a bigger trailer like because the, the amount of equipment I have I need to be able to have it all on hand now I don't I'd have to talk to my other job because my summer my mowing is going really good I'm getting properties and whatever this is the road I need to turn on <laughs> I almost flew past this month um, but anyways, yeah, so my summer properties are going really good. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could take the summer off of my job and be completely fine on bills. So winter, I don't have the customer base for winter yet. So I would need to make around thirty to $40,000 in a summer to be able to make it through the winter like comfortably because propane propane is not cheap <laughs> i still owe money on propane that's why i've been doing nothing but mowing um but no i i am so happy like when when i started realizing what was going on and why i was getting calls and stuff for more properties out of my area and when that customer or that that guy explained it to me like it sucks that people quit but now I'm gonna get those calls, and it's just it's an emotional roller coaster for me because I was expecting to be able to do this two years from now, and it's all happening so fast. I made such a good reputation for myself out here that it's insane. I I have doubled my properties this this summer. Next summer I'm probably going to triple them. Uh, so I'm gonna have to buy. Like in the, and uh, another note is, when I was talking to my wife about this. If I, you know, triple or quadruple my properties, she can technically quit her job, and we both can go in on this business full time. Granted, I would have to buy another truck, another trailer, and one of each piece of equipment again. She would have to learn how to drive a zero turn. And if she's not comfortable with zero turn, we can get like a, just a regular mower. Not a big deal. Aw. Uh, but yeah, like big things are happening for me. And like the one person I really, really want to tell uh, passed away a long time ago or a couple years ago. And the only reason I started this business was because she told me to take that, that I should start my own business. She told me that it would be better for me. And um, all I can say is I hope she's watching over me and she's proud because uh, it's scary to take that leap of faith. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it's been like a really, really big emotional roller coaster today. And I'm, I'm just so happy. I, I'm very proud of myself that I stuck with it. Because, uh, so you know that I do YouTube and everything, but I don't get paid on YouTube. I do that just, just to do it. Um, I want to be someone that somebody can look up to. I, I don't care about getting paid off YouTube. Um, and then, then I used to, I used to stream, but that's not for me because I don't pay attention to my chat. <laughs> um, and, uh. I'll still do advertising. I'm still going to stay with Glitch because Glitch is amazing. Shout out to the Glitch guys. Because uh, I bring them with me when I mow. So I got Glitch with me and I just bought two gallons of water because I'm going to be out all freaking day. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I, I appreciate all the support on YouTube. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to try to get paid off YouTube because I messed up somewhere so I messed up on getting paid so I'd have to go in there and fix it or possibly start a new channel uh, I don't want to start a new channel because that it it was tough getting anywhere near to 700 subscribers um but yeah so I'm gonna be releasing hopefully soon new merch for my business and I still got to get my summer line on Sordog for my brand. But I'm going to end this video currently. And if I have anything else to talk to, I'll 
sign back in and start recording, but I am at my first three properties, so I have to get off my phone. Um, I will talk to you guys in a little bit then.